From planning a wedding to planning a funeral. Good evening. Thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 6. I'm Calvin Snake. I'm Kim Chapman. A Dalton woman heading to her big day is killed just day before she got the chance to say, I do. Brittany Huber was riding in the car with her fiance, who's an assistant basketball coach at Dalton State College. News Channel Line's Jerry Askin just got back from Dalton. Jerry, I can imagine people there are taking this pretty hard. Yeah, Kim and Calvin, they sure are. The couple was heading to Mobile, their hometown, to get ready for their wedding on Saturday, but tried to stop those plans short. Brittany Huber was only five days away from becoming Mrs. Brittany Redman. Uh, she was just so excited to, to be getting married. Last Saturday, she and her fiancé, John Redman, were making an early start home to Mobile to be with family before their big day. But near Atlanta, troopers tell us Redman lost control of his 2008 Lexus and hit a concrete bridge support. Hooper was a paraprofessional at City Park School in Dalton. Her principal saw her at the school the same day she died. You know, they're going to have an experience that changes their life and, and have something like that uh, take place. Uh, this is tragic. The young couple had just moved to Dalton last year after Redman took a job as an assistant basketball coach at Dalton State. This is by far the most tragic thing that has happened to our young athletic department. Athletic director Derek Waugh has been at the hospital next to Redmond for the past two days. Today he made his way back to Dalton and told us Redmond is doing better after suffering from broken ribs and a fracture to his head. I knew the wedding was going to be huge um, and we had talked about that and I know it was something that they were really looking forward to. But that wedding will never happen this week. Just like Redmond, players on the basketball team are trying to recover from this. Um, this is a stressful time for college students anyways because we're right in finals week. So this just adds to that. And troopers say Redmond was driving too fast for conditions. We're told charges are pending. We'll keep you all posted on John Redmond's recovery.